What's going on guys? Mike back doing a final recap on the National 2023. I want to preface this by saying um, crowds are terrible for me in general. I've never minded the National before, but this one was unbelievable. Put that, the combination with my hip and um you know i was doing some work each morning for the football team that i run um i went wednesday for the first time spent about five hours there got a lot accomplished um that's why i did a one in day two recap because i didn't actually go day two um i just thought to myself after day one I was so exhausted and sore that if I went on Thursday, I wouldn't have made it to the YouTube meet and greet uh, that Mike Baseball Collector put on. So I really wanted to do that. Um, that was important. You know, they talk in the hobby, uh, you know, about, you know, sometimes it's, it's getting to be like wear comfortable shoes, but it's truly about the people you meet and the connections you make throughout the years. Cards brings that all together, but it's the actual bonding with people and having a few beers and maybe ordering a pizza or just sitting in the room bullshitting and bagging on each other. And I always find that, you know, in life, I'm always, if I'm comfortable with someone, <laughs> it may be an underhanded way to, if I'm, you know, throwing you jabs and digs, it's probably because I like you. Um, I don't mind throwing shade and I don't mind taking shade, but there was a lot of that last week and it was an absolute pleasure. I got to room with uh, Michael Double X the Beast. Andy, she blinded me with refractors. Uh, JT, Triple Crown 24, uh, Mike Baseball Collector, and Garrett Card Cutter, whom I got to meet for the first time in person. We've been talking via, you know, offline StreamYard, Facebook Messenger Live for years and finally got to meet him. And uh, it was great. We had a blast. Um, on Friday, I was all geared up. I finished my football stuff in the morning. Got a hold of Garrett. He said, you want to go grab some lunch? I said, yeah, and then we'll go back to the show. So we, we met at Caddyshack's, which is a bar across the street at the Crown Plaza. Had something to eat. And I said, yeah, I'm going to go back today. And he, he said, I don't know if you should. And I said, why? He said, well, with your hip. He said, it's insane. It's absolutely insane. It's hot. Didn't think the AC was working crowds were unbelievable and I just thought okay I'm out so Garrett and I just went back to the room hung out shot the shit you know had a few beers he was he wasn't drinking beer he's I think he had some spice rum but just an overall great time we had a lot of visitors to our room um we had Andrew Neff said cards and his buddy I got up if I forget I apologize we had Eric, those back pages, and his buddy Dustin. We had Dave, Blue Jacket 66, and his son Caden. Um, Theo Clemente Collector was by. Chris from Missouri. John, Wade Boggs fan. I'm just drawing a blank here. Um, uh, Amish Dave Archer on my last day, a day with uh, Steve Bronco 79 and Vinny. And their two girls, uh, Dave and Vinny's two girls, and um, Joe, Dr. Exclusive. They were dropping Joe off because him and I were traveling home together. Um, it was just a great time. Great to talk to people about life shit. You know, yeah, you talk a little bit about cards and whatever, but you get to know them on a more personal level. And to me, that's... That's the best thing about it. Um, I know people talk and bullshit about it, but um, the reason for my video is, you know, to recap the national. Just, you know, I've pretty much said all I can say. Um, 
I want to flip the camera around and show you my greatest pickup uh, from the National. And, and it's because of a lot of people that helped me out. So sit tight. I'm going to show this off. This is going to be tough to show off because it's bigger. But um, for those of you uh, that know, you know. And I'm going to try and read off everyone's name. I will admit some of the signatures got smudged. And I apologize. But if you see your signature on there and I don't ramble off your name, let me know. Because sometimes there was tiny writing in small spots but um sit tight and we'll flip it around okay guys so there it is in all its glory the uh brought this helmet in like i said i run a football team and uh this is an expired helmet helmets in canada are only good for 10 years shelf life this one was manufactured in 2012 which means we can't use it i went to our equipment manager asked for a helmet he said sure take this one got these youtube stickers which i'm not happy about because they were supposed to be vinyl stickers and they don't wrinkle and crease like this so i've i've put out to them that they sent me the wrong stickers these ones took three weeks to get in so i imagine they're going to take but they're going to be the exact same size and it'll look a little better but you get the gist of it so i'm just going to kind of spin this around I, I'm at the end I'll read out the names so you get the idea that you know a lot of people signed this helmet and uh, it was fantastic meeting everybody um, I just think this is a cool keepsake and uh, probably am going to I have a helmet display and I have one empty spot uh, it's my Dallas Cowboy helmet, so I think this will occupy the empty spot and make it whole. So, let me just read some of the names that have signed that, and again, if I if you signed it and I missed it, it might be too small. Uh, it may have smudged, I don't know. Um, but anyways, here goes. Scott Reindeer Studios, Dave, uh, 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 Dave, Amish Dave Archer, Snoop, Victor the Rookie Card Specialist, James Elite Hunters, uh, Drew Lefty NDV, Bob Lewis, um, I can't even read, read my own writing, oh Scott from Stooks, uh, Andrew Nuff Said Cards, Uncle Vinny and C, uh, Man John Mangini, JT Triple Crown 24, Steve Bronco 79, Picker Jim Mass, uh, John Wade Boggs fan, Dave's Midlife Card Crisis. Uh, let me flip this over. Nate Tops 85401 here. Josh Rated Rookie, Brian B. Roth 6, Chris from Missouri, Bradley Claus 8671, Mike Baseball Collector, Theo uh, Clemente Collector, uh, Blue, Jack, Blue Jacket 66. Brandon's Baseball Cards, Andy, She Blinded Me With Refractors, Orlando from A Collector's Dream, Dom from Staven Sports, Eric Those Back Pages, and of course, Garrett Card Cutter. So, if you see your name on here and I did not read it out, please let me know because I do want to make sure I keep this card that I wrote the names on intact so i know everyone that's on it but thank you for everyone who signed it truly the greatest pickup of the national this year thanks for watching take care